Tasmania. First time ever. Let's go. This week, we jumped on the Spirit and headed straight to the west coast of Tassie, where we were blown away by the wild, rugged landscapes. This is honestly better than my sail Croatia room. Now, where the hell are we going? But again, we were tested by many challenges of life on the road. Oh my god. It's driven us to here. That's where we want to be. There were tears when we pulled up. There were literally just human poos everywhere. I'm gonna stay in the car. Since says that I walk too slow. I am honestly mind blown she's walking that slow. And you wanna go to another waterfall? So we have just arrived at another waterfall. Oh no, no, no! Yeah. Would you come back? Uh. Right, we have just finished exploring our home state of Victoria. We're off to our next state in Australia, which is... Tasmania. First time <laughs> ever. Let's go. We are packing an overnight bag. We're leaving the trippy for the night and we are going on a boat. We're leaving the Australian mainland, um, but I think I might have overpacked. I've got like two jumpers and three pairs of undies for one overnight crossing, uh, but that's okay. We've got to go. Let's head to the boat. So my overnight bag actually doesn't close because I've packed too much in it, but... That's okay, we're gonna take it anyway. This is our home for the night. It's pretty good weather, so I think we might not have a bumpy ride. Touch wood. Lost the tickets, have you? No, I would never do that, ever. I'm a stress head, got the ticket right here. You can't put our booking number on. <laughs> oh, I'm still, we're gonna be on the boat. Oh, actually, no, we actually can't. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> oh no, the power doesn't work. Oh, holy moly. This is honestly better than my sail crash room. Is it smaller than what I thought? It is smaller than I thought, but what I don't know I what I, I don't know what I was expecting, but like this is honestly pretty good. I think I've just seen other people's pictures and it looked a bit Bigger, but... Nah, shotgun, both bottom bunks. We'll give a bit of a tour, there's not much to show. <laughs> the beds, they're pretty comfy actually. Um, probably comfier than the troopy bed, again. That's not hard to do though. It's really and then the bathroom... Do. You're opening yeah. the door onto me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and a deep, like an actual good shower. Yeah, you couldn't really see past your big shoulders then. Oh, oh, this is pretty big actually. You probably can't tell, but it is big. Toilet. I feel like it's a little like cruise. Oh, well, kind of. If we get confident enough to pull the camera out on the deck, the deck fits sick. We could sit here and do some work. <laughs> <laughs> why is there mirrors everywhere? There's literally. Because the... I'll tell you why. It's because it makes it feel bigger. Mirrors make rooms feel bigger. That's why there's mirrors everywhere. Yeah, I reckon if there was no mirrors in here, I'd definitely it'd feel a bit like a psych ward. Like, it's quite white. And, yeah. Nah, the mirrors are actually kind of... I'm a fan now. It's been a while since I've seen myself in a mirror as well. This is what I look like. You're having a soft drink to calm the nerves. Good morning, Angel. How was the first night? Uh, first and only night. It was good. I wish we kind of had more. Like, it was pretty comfy. About 1am, though, is, like, we, when we must have started hitting, like, the bumps and the waves. And, like, we both woke up at the same time. And Sarah was like, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but it wasn't even that bad. Like, it was kind of like, it was more like the, oh, I hope it doesn't get worse than what it was. But yeah. after that, it probably took, like, a bit of time to, like, fall asleep. But then, like, I had, like, a normal sleep, like, that I would have had in the trippy. So it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I would happily do it again. Comfy beds, and we've had a shower this morning. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Shower, breakfast, and stuff. I feel like I'm on a cruise. It's <laughs> actually pretty good. I don't want to leave. Off we go. Now, where the hell are we going? We have no <laughs> idea where we're going. So we got off the Spirit this morning and we have decided to head down and do the west coast of Tassie first. Do the wild side first. We were like honestly almost like a flip of a coin about which way we could go. Yeah, like, we had no plans. It's, 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 yeah, we, have, we, have, we have plans but we don't have like... Nothing booked nothing anyway. Nothing booked. So like um, yeah, and it wouldn't have made a difference which way we went so... 
It's a big flip of a coin, but we've gone west first, so it's pretty wild. It's wild and woolly. It's cold, um, oh, so but cold. we have driven to our free camp for the night. Um, we weren't paying sixty-five dollars for an unpowered site, so yeah. we've full driven to a free camp. It's pretty cool. Just outside of Cradle Park, uh, no Cradle, Cradle Mountain. Mountain National Park. <laughs> There's no one around. We've got it all to ourselves. Yeah. Um, it's... Yeah, it's sick. Absolutely freezing. It is this troopy is the only thing blocking me from a whole bunch of wind. So we needed to cook some dinner, so I've just set up the table on this side of the troopy out of the wind and hopefully just whip up a quick pasta just to make it through. But the sun actually has started to come out a touch and you can kind of see the lake. It was quite nice. A little bit of blue sky as well. So just in time for me to quickly whip this up. Ooh. Pretty warm. <laughs> We've whipped out the puffer jackets. Yeah. They've come out. This is the first time on the trip that they've come out. This is um our only warmth at the moment. So this is our campfire, our heater, and also gonna be our food source. Pretty tough. But looking for the hope. <laughs> there you go, that's the hope right there, the blue sky. <laughs> And hopefully a couple more wallabies come out to join us for dinner. Nah, I, like you, we expected that the west coast of Tassie was going to be cold. Um, I'm not too disappointed. I think I came in with like low expectations. Of the weather. Of the weather, yeah, of the weather. Not the scenery, but like of the weather. So like I'm not actually disappointed. Like it's actually quite nice and exciting to be I was disappointed so when we had bad weather in Victoria because I was just hoping yeah, that it would high be hopes. good and we had beach plants and stuff. But this is like... This Mountains. is exactly what I expected. Look at that, what's happening? Oh my god. There's no way you're going to be able to see that from how I'm filming, but there is like an owl. No, it looks like an eagle. Like a... Yeah, honestly, Tassie's unbelievable. It's blowing me away. That was, that was a cool bird. Yeah. But yeah, low expectations for the weather, and I guess you don't get disappointed. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the little tip for you. Sarah, do you want to ask some wombat if it wants to come to bed with us? <laughs> I'd love to bring a wombat in the troopy. It'd be so, so cool. toasty, yeah. I reckon let's call the wombat and see if he wants to jump into bed with us and let's call, call it a night. night. <laughs> Wombie! <whistles> Here, boy. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come to bed with us. Gonna have to go grab him. No! <laughs> Good morning, we have come into Cradle Mountain National Park. We got like the first shuttle up and we are doing the Dove Lake boat shed circuit walk. So it's about like a two and a half hour, two to three hour return walk. And we're gonna take some photos of the boat shed and it's so nice and still. So hopefully we get some really cool shots. But like all the mountains and stuff, like you can tell how cold it is. It's got like all like snow still on it. And it's what, like nearly summer. So it's crazy. Correction, we're just doing the Dove Lake circuit, um, but we're walking to the boathouse for 10 minutes first. <laughs> then we're going to do the Dove Lake circuit. My bad. I don't know if Sarah realises, but she's just walked off on me. I'm by myself. Oops. We have finished the Cradle Mountain, <laughs> surprise. We finished the Cradle Mountain Dove Lake hike. It's about six Ks, two, three hour return. I'm buggered after that. Gonna head to camp now. So we've got about a 40 minute drive to a camp by the lake. So hopefully- Yeah, another nice free camp. Yeah, let's go suss it out. Hopefully this is it. I feel bad, I feel bad. Oh my God. So we were at Cradle Mountain 
and we're meant to be staying at um, Lake. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna flip the camera because this is pretty funny, but oh my god. Cradle Mountain, we were just there. We were wanting to stay here, but Sarah has driven us to here. That's where we want to be. And we've arrived at where she put in maps, but we, we need to be here. I, oh my God. Oh. Holy f I was getting so over that drive as well. This place is ratty, we have to go. Oh well, f my life. Guess who's cooking dinner and doing the dishes for the next week. We have finally pulled up at camp. Hour later, my back is absolutely cooked from it. The trippy seats are the hardest things in the world, but I think it's worth it because we're right on the water. Is this the spot we're meant to go to? I think so. I feel really bad. Sarah's on dishes. Sarah has left her review on wiki camps for the camp we just stayed at. Poopy so, um, I wrote, quite a small campsite, arrive early if you want a nice spot. Right on the lake, which is beautiful. Such a shame it was ruined by lots of rubbish, including toilet paper and human poos with no attempt for them to be buried or covered with something. Literally was staring at poos from my campsite. <laughs> Disgusting. It's uh, If you really wanted to look around, you could find poos. It's pretty gross, but well, is beautiful it a good spot. Review? It is a good review. <laughs> We're on the side of a cliff. We've just seen an awesome waterfall and it's called Horsetail Falls, I think it is, but you gotta do like a walk across the boardwalk and the wind is howling up the cliff. So if we even make it, we'll see. This is incredible. Like when you actually see it and then it goes all the way down like this valley. Stay in the car, should have stayed in the car. Mason says that I walk too slow. He loves charging ahead of me. I am honestly mind blown she's walking that slow. I'm drenched. Are you saturated? Oh my god. And you want to go to another waterfall? <laughs> Your idea. I don't want to. I want to. Uh, I don't even know what I want to do. I want to lay in a fire, like actually in it. <laughs> so wet. So we have just arrived at another waterfall, but I didn't want to come. But Mason said we're going. I'm glad. I am glad we're here. It looks very pretty from yeah. what I've seen. It is really nice. But, um... Like we're just we've driven out of the rain we were just in, and now the rain we were just in has arrived at this place. So it's still raining. We're having an up and go break. But yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, because both our puffer jackets are soaked. We've gone the smart option with the raincoats, but I'm freezing. It's not warm enough. I put like two jumpers on underneath this. Oh, <laughs> far out. I should have done that. All right. Well, it's only a 20 minute return walk. So hopefully it's pretty quick. And actually, not gonna lie, we're under the trees, so I don't think we're gonna get rained on too much, hopefully. It's actually like, the walk's pretty as as well. Wow. And you're like right next to like the creek, I guess, that runs from the waterfalls. So I think we're just, <laughs> except in the fact we're just gonna be saturated so after this. Cold. That's so cold. It's almost like a bamboo um, holy puddle. <laughs> oh God. Oh, you're like a little <laughs> toddler. Look at this walk part. I feel, I feel like we're yeah, in a bamboo <laughs> rainforest where there's gonna be like a little panda bear or something. This, I haven't fully walked around, but this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Holy shit. They're bloody freezing currently after that and had to like run some of it to warm up but that was so much bigger than I thought and that actually blew me away so yeah, it was an, that was a nice waterfall that was definitely worth like the 30 minute drive and the sit in the car and for the extremely wet clothes we got now and the cold bones so <laughs> I reckon we treat ourselves to a nice toasty cafe or pub meal. If, the, if it's open. It'll be yeah. open. Yesterday we drove to three different west coast towns and none of them had anything to do. The last one that we came to, we were meant to kayak along the river and take some like nice photos and we've seen it looks beautiful, but we paid $70 to get here because you have to pay to cross the barge and then pay for the campsite here, which was a robbery. It was very expensive. Um, and now the weather's really bad, so we can't do the kayaks. So. That was fun, um, but I think that that signals the end of our West Coast trip. We have trip. <laughs> finished everything we needed to do on the West Coast, or what we wanted to do on the West yeah. Coast now. So that Apart from the work. things that we couldn't do because of the weather, we pretty much did. I reckon we did a good job. We did heaps. Like mm. It feels like we did so much, so I'm very satisfied with what we've done. Weather, a little bit disappointed at the end, but we can't control it. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but my question is, yeah. would you come back? Uh... I definitely would. Never say never, but I've got a lot of other places I'd probably come before I but. come back here. Yeah. It was really cold, but yeah. it's so pretty, but on to the next places, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. I probably would try and time it better with the weather. We came like end of November. I reckon yeah. maybe January January, would be I reckon would be like surely by then. You like get some better days. Some better weather. Um, but yeah, that wraps up our uh, West Coast vlog. Um, we're going to head to another part of Tassie now, which we're excited to go explore. So we will see you then. Let's go.